Hello guys, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good to see you. Hi Vero, hello Clara. Helen, hi, hi Yesenia, welcome. Hola. Good night, good, you here. good evening. Hello. Okay, how was your good day night. at work, Jose? Hi Clara, you have a good day, Jose? Hi. Hi, Clara. Welcome. Hi. How are you, Clara? Bien. Very good. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to hear that. Well, guys, today we will continue working on the verb. Vamos a continuar siempre trabajando con el verb. I have one activity to start. Tengo una actividad para que Comencemos, and we practice asking questions. Y practiquemos el hacer preguntas, right? You're going to see it in one moment. It's like bingo. Okay, the idea, la idea, the idea is that you find someone, in the first case, who is very hungry right now. La idea es que ustedes encuentren a las personas que tienen los aspectos que aparecen acá. Van a hacer una pregunta y hasta que encuentren a la persona van a dejar de preguntar. I'll give you an example. We need someone who is very hungry right now. Tengo que preguntarle a alguien o encontrar a alguien que tenga mucha hambre ahorita. Pero voy a hacer la pregunta en inglés. No me van a decir, yo voy a buscar a la persona. For example, ok, tengo que preguntar si tienen mucha hambre. Entonces, ¿quién podría decirme cuál es la pregunta? What is the question? Esto aquí está, pero no está en manera de pregunta. Karen, please help. How, how. How is very hungry right now? Uh, mm, pero como va a ser a una persona específica, voy a utilizar it. Yes, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Do you have the, the idea? Is he very hungry right now? Ajá, pero como va a ser directo, es como que yo diga, Sandra, are you very hungry? Right. Right now. Ya no voy a usar he or she porque le voy a preguntar directamente a una persona, ¿verdad? Entonces ya iría. Ok, Sandra, are you very hungry right now? Yes. Ok, la encontré. So, I finish, right? I finish. Sandra. Ok, en Sandra continues. Ok, Sandra va a continuar y va a encontrar a alguien who is 18 years old. But she has to ask the question. Pero tiene que elaborar la pregunta. Do you understand? ¿Entienden la dinámica? Es como bingo. Bingo in English. Tienen que encontrar a alguien que cumpla con esa característica. Pero vamos a hacer la pregunta in English. Ok. You need to find someone who is 18 years old. Vamos a buscar a alguien que tenga 18. But we have to ask the question. Ok, so let's see Carlos, Carlos Alberto. Elaborate the question, Carlos. Y okay. escoja un participant. Look at them, mírelos y, y ahí vaya calculando. So you can find the, the person. Ahí vaya ahí más o menos midiendo para que la encuentre rápido. 18 years old. Clara Magdalena. Clara, Clara, are you uh, uh, uh -huh. Clara? Yeah. Clara, Clara, are you 18 years old? Excellent. Uh -huh. That's the question. Okay, thank you. She said um, yes. I I didn't hear. What did she say? No. Oh, ah, ok. Ok. Continue, Carlos. Ok. 
Uh -huh. oh, you eighteen years old? No. Oh, yes, Senia. Okay. okay. One more person, Carlos. Okay. Um, Karen Molina. Uh, Karen Molina, are you eighteen years old? No, I'm not. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. Is there someone here who is 18 years old in the class? Someone who is 18 years old? Oh, no one. Nadie tiene 18 acá. No. <laughs> okay. All right then. So let's try with next question. Guys, can you listen to me? No sé si tengo problemas de connection, pero no. Yo bien. Can you hear me? Me escuchan bien ustedes a mí. You do. Yes. Por momentos, uh, yes. teacher. Son moments? Yes. No. Algunos no. A veces mm -hmm. sí. Okay. Let me mm -hmm. check. Yes. Déjenme ver. One moment. All right, thank you guys. Okay, so let's continue with Helen. Number three, Helen. Um, Create the question, crea la pregunta. You have a brother or a sister? Um, are you, are you a brother? Are you a head, a brother or a sister? And for whom, para quien? Um, Oscar. For Oscar. No, I am not. I You're am, not. I am father. Ok, not a brother, a father. Ok, continue, Helen. Next person. Um, no sé, no sé. Me you can choose Nurian. You have Rafa, Jamie, Vero. Um, Jamie. Jamie. Mandy. Ask, ask the question again, Helen. Are you a brother or sister, Jamie? Yes, I sister. You're a sister. Okay, thank you, Helen. Now, Jamie, it's your turn. Next, the next one, Jamie. Elaborate the question. We create the question. La idea es que lo elaboremos en manera de pregunta, right? If Jamie can't, si a ella le cuesta, tal vez alguien nos va a ayudar y nos va a dar su option. What would Are be the you... question? Uh -huh. Are you? Are you 
tired in the morning? Yes, ajá, Jamie, that's the question. For whom? ¿A quién le va a preguntar, Jamie? Nuria. Nuria, ok. Are you there, Nuria? Sí, aquí estoy. Solamente ah, okay. que puse allí que Ajá, voy a tener la cámara apagada. Sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. No problem. What would be the answer, Nuria? Um, are you always? Uh, no. Sorry, Nuria. Perdón, the perdón, answer. perdón. Sí, sí. Eh, ¿Me puedes repetir, por favor? Amy, can you repeat? Are you always tired in the morning? Yes, I'm always tired in the morning. Oh, okay, Nuria. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> now, Nuria, it's your turn. Next, okay. next one. Is a good singer. Veamos, um, you can look Victor at Victor Valladares. Uh -huh. Okay. And make Victor Valladares. Question. Okay. Are you a good singer? No, I'm not. Okay, okay. continue, Noria. Find your Veamos. singer. Encuentre a su cantante. Claudia Rebeca Orellana. Okay. No, I know. Okay. Xiomara Marilyn. Hi. I'm not good singer. Oh. Ok, Nuria, continue. Muy bien. Wilson Alejandro. Ok, let's Romero. ask Wilson. Ok. <laughs> May you repeat the question, please? Ok. Are you a good singer? Um... I'm trying. Is that a yes or a no? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nidia. One more time, Vaya, la última, Nidia. That's the last one. Um, Jenny Elizabeth Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Jenny Elizabeth Rodriguez. Ajá, uh -huh. Jenny, what about you? Hi. Hello. Okay. Ask again, Nurian. Okay. Are you a good singer? Um, yes. Okay, congratulations. We have a song. We have a song de Ana Gabriel. Ah, ok, tomorrow nos puede dar ahí una clase, Jenny. Le vamos a dar ahí el micrófono. Yes. Ok, Jenny. It's your turn. You continue. Ok, let's continue with the last one, la última. No sé si la logra ver, Jenny. Is a husband or a wife? You have to look for a husband or a wife, but create the question. Um, just activate the microphone, Jenny. Wilson okay. Romero. 
Okay, let's ask Wilson. And the question then, uh -huh. Wilson Romero uh, is, is or a wife? Are you a husband? Are you, are you a wife? A husband. Uh, husband uh, is for uh, men. Uh, uh -huh. Wife is uh, for uh, ladies, uh, women. Uh -huh. One more time, please. Uh, uh, Wilson uh, are is, you are are you a wife? A husband. I, One more time. Jenny. A, a husband. Okay. A husband. No, I am not a husband. I'm oh, single. okay, Jenny. Continue looking for the husband. A husband. Ahí va a practicar, a mira, se le va a quedar bien ah, Ajá, okay. la question. Okay, who is next? Vamos a ver. Mm. Ah. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Okay. Uh -huh. Make the question, Jenny. Are you? Car eh, are you, are you Carlos or a wife? Husband, Jenny. Husband. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you Carlos? Mm -hmm. Are you Carlos or a wife? A wife? Husband. It's okay. A husband. A husband. A husband. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. So, Carlos is the one. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny, and, and you guys for the participation. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment, and then we continue with the class. Let's begin with Alex Miguel. Azucena Vela. Decente. Carlos Alberto. Present. Clara Magdalena. Presente. Claudia Rebeca. Present. Helen, Helen Ramos. Presente. Jennifer Lisset. Juana, I'm sorry. Jonathan Hernández. José Saúl. Presente. Okay. Karen Michelle Molina. Presente. Carla Mendoza. Presente. Noel Larín. Cian Karina. Presente. Oscar Cruz. Presente. Rafael Cruz. Presente, teacher. Sandra Campos. Present. Verónica Solano. Present. Víctor Ramos. Víctor Valladares. Present. Hola, Vilma, yo, Víctor Ramos. Vil ok, Víctor. Vilma ¿Es, es Cortés. Problema, ah, ok, Present. that's fine. Ok. Present. Wendy Rivera. Presente. Wendy Flores. Presente. Wilson Romero. Presente. Yomara Morán. Presente. Okay. Jamie Aguillada, right? Right. Present. Okay. Jenny Rodríguez. Present. Cruz. Thank you. Yesenia Flores. Presente. Thank you. And Jessica Dimas. Presente. And Zulma Hernández. Presente. Okay, thank you guys. We will continue with the class. I'm going to give you vocabulary. And okay, Carla. Okay, Carla, no problem. One second. I'm going to give you vocabulary to talk about 
uh, about people, ok. Voy a darles vocabulario para hablar de las personas. Ok, we, we will still use the verb be. Siempre utilizamos el verb be porque hablamos de descriptions. Ok, so we will still use it. I'm going to give you, well, show you a picture. Aquí les voy a mostrar una picture. We will practice pronunciation. And let me know if you have any questions. Ok. Number one, H, H, huh? H is edad, right? Edad, you can, you can use the terms we have here. Young, young, middle age, middle age and old. Middle age, is like a person around 45 to 60 to 60 years old middle age it's inside that old sometimes it could be offensive you can use this term Old could be offensive, so you can use the word senior. Okay, primero, esta palabra middle age is for people that are on, inside this, this uh, age. Los que están entre 45 y 60, les pueden utilizar este, middle age. For example, other is middle age age okay or i can say my brother is young verdad siempre utilizamos el verb be because i'm describing porque estoy describiendo son adjectives son adjectives and old old could be offensive podría sonar ofensivo verdad porque es viejo mm -hmm. so you can use the word senior Pueden usar la palabra senior. It's the same. Es lo mismo, but it's not offensive. It's polite. Esa es más educada. Senior. Okay, questions about these three words? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre estas palabras? No? Later we practice pronunciation. Luego vamos a practicar pronunciation, guys. Okay, next. Build, body, build. That is the next part. These are the options. Observe the pictures and the terms. Number one, observe the guy, the man. Well, build. Well, build. Lump, 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 thin, thin, fat, and slim. Well built is a person who is, who has a body like him. Okay, well built is alguien que tiene un cuerpo como el de él. Someone who goes to the gym, maybe. Alguien que quizás va al gym, sería well built. Plump, it's someone who has like a circular face. Es, eh, sorry, body. Es alguien que tiene el cuerpo como circular. Es como rellenito. Okay. No es así bien gordito, pero tampoco es delgado. Pero es, es llenito, rellenito. That is plump. And then thin, okay, thin, you can observe the picture. Delgado, right? Thin. Fat is the opposite. Lo opuesto es fat. And then you have slim. It's a girl with a good body. Slim is, es una persona con un buen cuerpo. Okay, definido. That's slim. Okay, so those are some words you, you can use. Now let's talk about the height. Okay, next point, the height. 
Hablemos de la altura. There are different options. There are different heights. Hay diferentes. Number one, short. Okay, short. It's not small. No vamos a decir small para bajito, sino que para personas utilizamos short. Not small, short. Eight. Okay. Not small, not tall. Medium. Medium height. ¿Verdad? Ni alto, ni muy alto, ni muy bajito. Está en medio. Medium height. And tall. You can observe the picture. Pueden observar. Tall. Alto. Okay. Those are some words you can use. Questions or comments in this moment? No, not right now. Okay, so Rafa, please repeat, Rafa, the first three terms. Um, age, young, medium age, all. Excellent. Thank you, Rafa. Just this one here. Solo el de acá. The, the Y, la, la Y en inglés, suena como nuestra I latina. Es un tono suave. Haga de caso que estuviera así. Yon. Okay. That's the, the right way. Suena como una I latina, suave. Okay. Yon. Okay. Thank you, Rafa. Oscar, please repeat. The, the same three words, Oscar. Okay. Uh, well built. Y plum. Uh, oh, the plum. ones here. Yeah. Uh -huh. John. John. Middle age. Mm -hmm. the old. Or old. Yes. Very good, Oscar. Thank you. Okay. Next one. Let's continue here. Where with prong. Thank you, Oscar. Sling. Sorry? Thin, fat, sling. Ah, okay. Thank you, Oscar. Yes, that's the pronunciation. Now let's listen to Sulma. Sulma, please repeat the words in yellow. Zulma, can you repeat? Puede repetir esas palabras, Zulma, please. Um, Vero, Vero Solano, can you continue in that case, please? Okay. We uh boy field. Well field. Well put. Pardon? Field. Beat. Field. Bill. Uh-huh. A plant. Plumped. Plumped. Mm -hmm. Next. Tight, thin, thin, mm -hmm. fat, slant, slim, slant. Thank you, Vero. Okay, let's listen to Victor Ramos. Victor Ramos, can you repeat, please? Are you there, Victor? Carla, Carla Mendoza, can you repeat, please? Hola. Um, yes, yes. One moment, Carlos. We will listen to Carla. One second. I'm sorry, Victor. <laughs> yes, Carla, go ahead. Will, will, bloom, sweet, 
path is slim. Excellent. Is slim. Thank you. Slim. Mm -hmm. Slim. Ok, just this one, guys. Les voy a decir cómo más o menos lo dijéramos en Spanish. It would be like that. Well built. That's the, the pronunciation. Ok, so just for you to, to make sure. Well built. That's the pronunciation. Victor, can you try, please? Well built. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Plant, thin, fat, and a slim. Yes. Thank you, Victor. Okay, now let's continue with height. Azucena, can you help us with the next three words, please? Yes. Uh, uh, Es corto, bien. Short. Short. Mm. Medium. Heel. Tight. Height. Uh -huh. Tight. Uh -huh. And the last one, el último. Tight. Tall. One more time, Azucena, una vez más, please. Uh, Chores, medium, hell, tall. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good pronunciation. Just the one in the middle. Solo la última, eh, perdón, la de en medio. Tenemos que trabajar. Medium height. Medium pay. Medium height. Medium height. Yes, and tall, yes. Okay, thank you. I'm going to show you other pictures. Les voy a mostrar otra imagen. Okay, one second. One moment. Here you have more. Okay, this is also on the platform, okay? Observe the pictures. In, in the examples. Okay, here we have some examples. Aquí tienen unos ejemplos. Okay, number one. Zulma, can you help us with number one, Zulma? Perdón, me, me la repite? Yes, can you read number one? Puede leer la primera. The one third. Uh, uh, she's really tall. He is. Tall. Uh -huh. He's really tall. Tall. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. That guy. Really tall. Really, guys, is como muy, ¿verdad? Muy alto. Really tall. Thank you, Zulma. Okay, Jessica, let's continue with the next one. The one here. Uh, she's thin. She's thin. Uh huh. That's the one. She is she's thin. thin. Yes, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Yesenia Cruz. Are you there, Yesenia Cruz? Sí. ¿Cuál voy a leer? The the next one. The one here. Uh, she is thin. The other one. La otra. He's. He is handsome. Handsome. Okay. Thank you, Yesenia. Do you know that word, guys? Conocen esa palabra? Handsome? Do you have. Guapo, el hermoso. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, guapo. Handsome, that's the way we say it in English. Thank you, Rafa. Okay, now Jess, uh, Yesenia Flores, please help us with the next one. Okay, the one here, Yesenia. Yeah, she's very pretty. Lord. She's very pretty. One more time. Yeah. 
She is very pretty. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. She is Thank very you. pretty. Very pretty. Thank you, Yesenia. Okay, so very. Las palabras really or very son lo mismo. Son diferentes intensificadores, intensifiers, que ustedes pueden usar para realzar algo, ¿verdad? She is really pretty. She is very pretty. To give more emphasis. Okay, that is something that you use. Okay, now the one here. Sandra, continue, please. He's quiet. quiet. Uh huh. Thank you. He's quiet, quiet, guys. No sound. Shh. That's quiet. Silencio. Callado. Quiet. That is the meaning of quiet. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Now the one here, Victor Valladares. Continue, please. Okay. She's she. She's shy. She's shy. Thank you. Shy is the opposite of extroverted. Es lo opuesto a ser extrovertido. Tímido. Shy. That's the one. Thank you. Now let's continue with the one here. Okay. Can you help us, Jamie? Sí, talkative. Thank you. Talkative. The L is silent. La L es, es como que no existiera. Talkative. One more time, Jamie. She is talkative. Talkative, thank you. Talks too much, talks a lot. Hablantin, that is the way we will say it. That is talkative. Are you talkative, Karen? Are you talkative? Mm, so, so, <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> okay, that's, that's one way to say it. Thank you. Now let's continue with this one here. Wilson, continue, please. They are good looking. They are good looking. Thank you. Apuestos, good looking. That is another option, guys. Okay, the next one, let's continue with the next one. Wendy, Susana, can you help us with the one here? He is funny. He is funny. Huh? Do you understand that one? Entienden funny, the word funny? Sí. Yes, todos, all of you? Yes. Guys? Yes. Okay, all right, excellent. Okay, that next one. Clown nodded. Uh -huh. That's why the, the clown is there. Now the one here, Wendy Rivera. She's really friendly. She's really friendly, uh -huh. Friendly means amigable. Friendly significa amigable, friendly. And now the last one. The last one we have here. No. Rafa, can you help us with the last one, please? ¿Cuál sería, teacher? Um, over here. Esta. Yes, where you see the other. She is a lady. She is a lady. Hey, hey. A little heavy. A little heavy. Little heavy. Thank you. Heavy is like, in this case, guys, it's like pesada, but it's talking about the, the body. Es como gordito. También. Heavy in this context. In este contexto, heavy. Okay. Do you have questions? Do you have questions for me? No? En Karen? esta oración, Ajá. De, sería en español pequeño y gordito. No. <laughs> little, in little, this case. Ajá. Little, it's another intensifier. Little es otro in intensificador. 
pero es lo opuesto a really. De mucho es un poquito. Como un poquito mm. pesado. Uh -huh. That is what it means. Cuando lo ponen antes, es para intensificar. I'm going to give you some examples. Vale, les voy a dar unos ejemplos. Ok, give me one moment. Solo voy a mostrarles una picture. I'm going to show you a picture. And I'm going to give you one example. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about Samuel, okay? I'm going to talk about Samuel. We have different intensifiers. Okay, there are different intensifiers. Podemos intensificar o dar más énfasis o, o realce utilizando pequeñas palabras like really, very, extremely. Okay, those are some words you can use. That I can say, Sam is handsome. Han uh, Sam is handsome. But if you want to give more emphasis, si quieren darle más emphasis, pueden utilizar una de estas options. Y ya lo coloco antes del adjective. Sam is extremely, extremely handsome. Okay, so it gives more emphasis. Lo único que hice fue darle más reals. Pueden utilizar really, very, extremely, or you have the word real. They have the same meaning. Todas tienen el mismo significado. Ustedes escogen la que quieran utilizar. Pero todas son como muy o extremadamente. Y si quieren, aquí les doy otra. White, que también es lo mismo. Todas son para intensificar. Okay, si solo es un poquito, entonces pueden utilizar a little. A little. Y ya va a cambiar el sentido de la oración. Sam is a little, a little handsome. Yesenia? Tell me, Yesenia. Sí, en la pregunta. O sea que sería, venían, tendrían siendo como la categoría gramatical de un adverbio. Yes. Okay. Yes, Yesenia. Thank you. Correct. You're welcome. And Victor Ramos, do you have a question? Una, pues sí, este, la palabra que está abajo de extremely real, white, es lo mismo que callado. No. ¿Qué significado? White. Es lo mismo que very. Y el otro es quiet. Quiet es diferente el spelling. Lleva un, al revés las últimas palabras. Este es quiet y este es quiet. Y en the pronunciation, en la pronunciation también, ¿verdad? Este es quiet y este es quiet. Quiet. Okay, but we will try. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo. We will work in groups. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. And you are going to create sentences about different people. Yo les voy a enviar ahorita en el grupo esa página que les mostré y ustedes van a escoger unas personas y van a hacer oraciones. You have to imagine. Solo les vemos la cara, but you can imagine. Imagine the body or some things. Okay, you have to make sentences about them. This, the same way I did with Sam. That yo hice sobre Sam. Pueden decir algo sobre Sam or about other people. Do you have any questions in the meantime? No sé si hay alguna pregunta. Mientras les envío el, la picture. We have time for questions. No. Ok. 
Okay, you're going to receive the picture in one moment. Hold on. Okay, it's there now. It's there. Ya se las envié ahí. And remember, choose two people and make four sentences about those people. Voy a poner aquí la instruction. Choose, escojan, two people, dos personas. And then create four sentences per person. Cuatro oraciones por persona. For example, okay, le voy a dar un ejemplo más. Okay. Sam, Samuel, number one. Sam is not fat, number one. Number two, Sam is really friendly. Sam is really friendly. Number three, and I continue, okay? Sam is well built, okay? Four sentences, okay? Van a ser cuatro. Ustedes lo, los ven y crean four sentences. Affirmatives or negatives? Is it clear or do you have questions? Los que no tienen nombre se los vamos a poner nosotros. Yeah, you can, you can create a name. Juanito, Pablito, John, Mary. You can create it, Wendy. Okay, I will create the rooms. I will create the rooms. And you can divide the work if you wish. Pueden dividirse el trabajo o trabajar todos juntos. Okay, let me see. Hold on, sorry. Uh, okay. Yesenia, did you get the link? Did you receive the invite? Le cayó la invitación, Yesenia. ¿Ah? Ahí, le, ahí le, le escribí y me iba a desconectar porque... Ah, bastante... ah, ok, sorry. Ok, Yesenia, no problem. Sí, logré casi It's hacer toda fun. la clase, pero... <laughs> Si quiere, solo este, escuche la clase. Puede apagar la cámara, ya no va a participar. Pero mejor que es, por su asistencia. Ah, por la asistencia. Aunque ya no participe. Ajá. Sí, vamos que a apagar. bastante mal. Tengo Fari muy bien, Dalitis. Y le escribí también al personal. Pero no, yes. no, no. <risa> Sorry. No me, no me llegaba el porque... Ok, no ah, problem. Okay, la voy gracias. a dejar ya ahí descansar y usted solo puede oír. That's it. O acostarse, ok, no problem. Turn off the camera, puede apagar ahí su cámara. Okay. Vilma, what happened? You lost the connection, Vilma. <laughs> sí, tengo problemas en la conexión. Ah, ok. Uh, you're going to receive it there. Uh, 
ser de ellos dos personas y vamos a hacer cuatro oraciones de cada uno. Ya sea... Ah, Hello. Hola. Hi, guys. How are you doing? ¿Qué tal van por acá? Aquí, oh, aquí escogiendo todavía. Ah, ok. Sí, yo creo que no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo, ¿verdad? Solo tenemos como cuatro minutos. Ahorita vamos a comenzar ya. Ok. Do you Hasta need any help? No sé si hay algo en lo que les pueda ayudar. Mm, yo creo que no por el momento. No. You're fine. No. Ok, guys. So, continue and I will visit other rooms. Voy a visitar a sus compañeros. See you in one moment. Nos vemos en un momento. Bye. Medium age. Sí. Como... Medium age sería. Rachel is... Oh, Medium age. Hi, guys. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Do you need help? Necesitan ayuda por acá. Do you need help? Um, eh, eh, teacher, en las sería, oraciones, en las oraciones, eh, podríamos poner Rachel is, Rachel very, o Rachel is. Podría solo Ajá, yes, Nuria. Okay. You can do that. Carla, what was the question? Please repeat. Lo mismo que Jamie o Nuria, no sé si es la que habló. Nuria, Nuria. <laughs> ah, ok, ok. Anything else? Algo más? Anything else you may need? No. 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 Okay. All right. I'll see you in a moment. Bye bye. Bye. Very pretty. Pretty. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Very pretty. Hi, Jenny. Oscar. Hi. Wendy. Hi. How are you doing? ¿Cómo van por acá? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm bien. Ah, uh, apenas. No, no. Two sentences. Two sentences. Sí. Te ah, sentences. Okay. One person. De la primera persona. O sí. the second. Claro. Bueno, la segunda. No, one. Number one. One person. Sí. Ah, okay. no, no duda. Yes. Verdad yes. que, digamos, eran tres de cada uno, de cada personaje. O sea. Four. Cuatro de cada Two uno. Two people. Oh. Uh -huh. de dos Two personas. people. De dos Ajá. personas. Four sentences. Um, four sentences about Samuel, four sentences about Hailey, eh, ajá, or Laila, ajá. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Yes. okay, more questions? Other uh, questions? Oscar, uh, Jenny, uh, or Wendy? No. Yo decía, oh. que, yo decía que que hiciéramos en papel y después la leíramos en cada uno de las, de las cuatro oraciones que han formado o formemos uno cuatro oraciones de cada uno y después las leemos sí ok sí ok all right I will let you continue I'm going to visit your classmates los voy a dejar que continúen voy okay. a ir a visitar a sus compañeros ok see okay. you Good. hola Ira. Laila is Tom. Hi Helen, hi Karen, Claudia. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Do you need help? Necesitan una mano por acá. Questions? Hay alguna sí. duda que les haya quedado? Eh, pregunta este, son cuatro descripciones por cada personaje. Yes. Four sentences, cuatro oraciones o descripciones. Uh -huh. Por cada uno, por cada personaje. No, only choose two people. Solo escoge dos personas. Dos personajes, uh -huh. no todos. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. How many sentences do you have? ¿Cuántas oraciones llevan ya? Cuatro, seis. Ah, ok. You're about to finish. Ya casi terminan entonces, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ok, all right. Anything else I could help you with? ¿Hay algo más que necesiten antes que me marche? No. No, Ok. No. All right. See you in a moment. Gracias. Bye, bye. Hola, Miss. Hi. How are you? 
You finish. No, que ya este, terminaron. Era un este intensifier o no, no necesariamente tenía que ir el intensifier. No, not necessarily. That was optional. Only ah, if you want it. But not an Perfect. obligation. Mm -hmm. Other questions you may have, Jose, Victor, or you, Sandra? No. No, no, teacher. Okay. Sí. All right. In about in about one minute we will return. Okay. And tomorrow will be the second part okay. of the activity because today we don't have more time. But tomorrow we will continue with, with the activity. Okay, I'm going to see you in, in one moment. Bye. Puedo ver. Hi, Rafa. Ay, vamos a ingresar de nuevo. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Pedro. Yes. Hello. Very close to going back. Ya casi regresamos, Rafa. But not ah. yet. Todavía no. En unos segunditos. Do you know? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Disculpe, teacher. Yes, Como aquí somos tres en el grupo, ¿cuántos tenemos que hacer? The same. Es el mismo número para todos los grupos. Two people. Escogen a dos personas. And four sentences per person. Y por cada personaje, cuatro oraciones. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nosotros hicimos diferentes, teacher. Ah, ¿cómo lo hicieron? Aquí uh -huh. vamos seleccionando por cada persona y vamos poniendo diferente a cada persona. Ah, one sentence per person. Hicieron una sí, por eso cada uno. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, sí. Sí, Pero es ok, that's fine. Yo quiero ver cómo las arman, so that's ok. We will return to the main room. Vamos a regresar al otro room y ya les indico qué vamos a hacer. See you. One moment. I'm I'm waiting for your classmates to come back. Okay, just one one second. Okay, now that you are back, okay, guys, um, I want you to send the sentences to WhatsApp. I'm going to select just one person. Va a haber un representante de cada grupo y va a pegar esa, ese, esas oraciones en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. And I will read the sentences there y las voy a estar leyendo el día de mañana. Okay, voy a leer los nombres de las personas que van a enviar el, el message. Carla Mendoza, en representación de group number one. Rafael Cruz. Azucena Vela. Clara Guillén. Oscar Cruz. Carlos Alberto. José Jiménez. Claudia Orellana. Okay, I repeat. Repito, los que mencioné van a enviar un grupo en el, I'm sorry, un mensaje al grupo con las oraciones del grupo, ¿ok? Voy a repetir, Carla Mendoza, Rafael Cruz, Azucena Vela, Clara Guillén, Oscar Cruz, Carlos Alberto, José Jiménez y Claudia Rebeca. It can be tomorrow, si ya se van a ir a dormir, that's ok, pueden hacerlo mañana, ¿ok? And we will continue uh, tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Okay, that's all right in that case, Victor. Rafa, do you have a question? No. Carla? No. Teacher, este, escrito o lo podemos enviar en audio? Escrito, please. Because I will okay. read it. But if you want to, si quieren decirlo en audio, okay. 
that's that's fine. Okay, so in this moment, I will take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance and then you will be free, free to go. Okay, so let's begin with Alex. Alex Miguel. Azucena Vela. Presente, teacher. Carlos Alberto. Presente. Clara Guillén. Presente. Claudia Rebeca. Presente. Helen Ramos. Presente. Jennifer Lisset. Jonathan Hernández. José Saúl. Presente. Hey, Karen Molina. Carla Mendoza. Thank you. Present. Okay. Noel Larín. Nuria Karina. Oscar. Presente. Okay. Presente. Eh, Rafael. Yo tengo una pregunta antes de Ajá. que termine. ¿no? Present, teacher. Yes. La pregunta. La, yes, Oscar. La pregunta, la pregunta que le tengo es ¿cuántas veces se puede repetir una tarea de, de, de clase o una homework? As much as necessary, no tiene un límite. Puede tratar de mejorarlo. Si le salió una mala nota, lo puede volver a hacer. Ah, bueno, gracias. Yes, you're welcome, Oscar. Ok, eh, Rafa Cruz, Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Campos. Present. Okay. Verónica Solano. Present. Víctor Ramos. Víctor Valladares. Present. Thank you. Yes. Vilma Cortés. Present. Wendy Rivera. Present. Wendy Flores. Presente. Wilson Alejandro. Present. Yomara Morán. Present. Jamie López. Present. Jenny Rodríguez. Present. Yesenia Cruz. Presente. Yesenia Flores. Presente. Jessica Dimas. En Zulma Verónica. Presente. Ok, guys. Thank you. So, guys, it's time to go. We continue tomorrow. En, en Zulma, de su grupo, es usted. Si no me equivoco. Ah. Ah. No lo, no lo you guys can go. Eh, ahorita le confirma porque no lo escuché. Okay. Um, fíjese de que se me acaba de borrar. No, es Azucena okay. del grupo. Azucena, ¿verdad? Era usted. Ah, ah okay. Okay. Azucena, okay. las voy a enviar, Zulma. Ok, guys. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.